guys. Welcome to your reading. For those that do not know me, I'm Tabitha and I will be your spiritual advisor for this session. This is going to be about a month long prediction for the zodiac sign Pisces and it is for the month of December. Okay guys, the angel that came through for you first was Archangel um, Azriel. This Archangel helps with uh, grieving, okay? So like uh, brief souls, um, grief, loss, endings, actually helps souls cross over as well, this angel. But that angel came through for you guys because they're going to be um, perhaps assisting you at some point during during this month. You also had the angel of unknown who is there to protect um, children, um, inner ch child healing, they, uh, the, the, this angel is said to be fearless. So if you need to, you know, I was going to say if you need to be less fearless, but what I wanted to say is like, yeah, if you want to be fearless. Um, you also had the, uh, Archangel Metron come through for you. This angel is really good for indigo, um, crystal, rainbow, highly sensitive um, people, and it's going. This this archangel, this archangel helps with sacred sacred geometry as well, and wrapping up time. Okay, so the crystal that came through for you guys from source is amber. Um, you can also get this as copal amber, but this is a great stone if you need to recharge your vibes. It's also a great stone if you're an old soul, which it looks like a bunch of you Pisces might be, especially with Metron being present. Uh, it's also just really good if you need to bring, they're saying if you're like gearing up for a, for a long winter and you need some sunshine, like this is a good stone to, to bring some warmth into your environment. Um, it's, really good to just keep anywhere. It's good for people that love nature. Um, yeah. Okay. So in the first week of December, I see that you guys um, are listening to the divine. I think you're being guided by the, well, I don't not think you're being guided by the divine. I know you're being guided by the divine, but you are realizing that you're being guided by the divine. So this star, this star is about hope, faith, optimism, and um, it seems like you guys, you have like hope and faith and optimism and perhaps a water sign, such as uh, yourselves. So, you know, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. Uh, but I am strongly feeling that there's going to be perhaps a message of love coming through in the first week of December. So you could get um, a proposal. Now this proposal though, I see happening throughout the month at different times for people. So we'll get there. But uh, nevertheless, there is going to be some clarity as well in your first week. And it comes from, so, I'm getting like the wounded warrior vibe and I'm, I'm getting your discontent vibe and like perhaps wanting clarity in those areas. For some of you, I think like the divine has shed clarity on, on those areas for you. If they have not, they probably will in the, in the first week of December. But uh, I am seeing some people are a little just like a little unhappy, a little discontent. I do want to say, cause this offer is coming in, um, don't block your own blessings, okay? So sometimes the universe is trying to um, give us something and we're so fixated on something else that we don't see this being an offer, okay? We get like so... It's like if you really wanted to go to Disneyland in California, but the universe wanted to give you Disneyland in Florida. Like, um, but then like you're almost disappointed because you so badly wanted to go to the other one or you almost don't even realize that you can go to Disneyland closer to you. 
um, because you're so fixated on just one thing. Um, so they are saying like, don't block your blessings, like don't be the wounded warrior. And um, they are saying for a lot of you though, that uh, you're gonna be feeling like you're in a better, better place to, you're gonna be feeling more prepared for whatever comes your way at the end of the first week of December. So in your second week, um, some of you may have also had to like kind of stand up to like a boss or authority figure um, as well. So in the second week, you have the emperor present and the hierophant. Uh, so the emperor can sometimes represent um, Aries, but it's also just like power and authority figure. And so sometimes it can be like a boss or like a ruler with the hair fin there as well. This is telling me like someone has powerful knowledge. Okay. For some of you, this may be um, where you get proposed to um, in the second week, but it also could just be either you yourself are thinking about it Pisces or like that person is thinking about it um I do strongly I'll tell you when I see like like a ring but um so yeah so anyways for some of you like you just you have like a, a higher um or you have like knowledge or someone has like this higher power of knowledge and it could be beneficial like it could actually bring some wealth it could bring some financial financial wealth because of this like information that gives someone a lot of power. For some of you, this may be like your your partner, right? Like maybe you're with um, someone who is of emperor status, who is like a boss, shakala, like um, you know, ruler, and they're extremely knowledgeable and looks like they could possibly have an offer as well. Or like have an offer for you. Um, I do see this being something solid and stable. Like I can't tell you exactly what it is because it's gonna be so different for for everyone. But um, this is kind of where they were saying like also don't block your blessings when it when it does come in. But it is going to be it's gonna it is something solid and stable. It is slower paced as well. Like this might have taken a while to to come. To come to you for some of you like you've been in a relationship for a while maybe taking this person a while to um to, as to ascend the commitment or to ascend the whatever to raise to a higher level of commitment is what i'm trying to say so you also have um you may be like either this person is or like you're a little detached and cold about this situation and I think it's because you're just wanting to move into, so for some of you, like I'm strongly picking up that, you know, there's this boss and I, I think that like, you know, they're, they're kind of, um, they, well, they're making things challenging because you're wanting like calmer, calmer, smoother waters and like you're detached and like you're um, being kind of sharp with your tongue, uh, a little cold. And it seems like you're being like that towards this, this higher authority. So I do see you moving out of that though, uh, but I do see that something is coming towards you as well. So you can probably expect some sort of um, finance opportunity to come in in the second week of December. For some of you, like you, could, someone could wanna pay you for your intelligence. Um, or pay like you know like someone around you like for their intel for their intelligence. Some of you you're just really sick of your boss. <laughs> um, and I'm picking up on like a male energy like I think they're fiery and have a little bit of a temper and you're just kind of like over it. So moving on to the third week of December, I see that uh, you might kind of feel a little bit like powerless or like at a stalemate with a situation, especially in that like work one. Um, but just know that like you're not powerless and like sometimes a stalemate's like not always a bad thing because there's divine timing at play, okay? 
And sometimes like we hold on too tightly, like I was telling you guys earlier about like we get so fixated on something that we miss something else coming in that is usually like a lot better for us. And I am kind of seeing that happening here because you do have the magician here in the middle of your week in December. And that magician tells me that like you have the tools and the resources from the universe and that there is this like Um, there is this sacred geometry, there is this like universal law and like things need to, to play out the way that they did because that's how the universe planned it. And the universe's plan takes precedent over our plans. And you know what, just trust them because like they wrote this story with you a long, long time ago before you came here. They can see so much that we cannot see. Um, so just, just trust, just trust their guidance and just know that you guys are powerful. You are the magician. You have the tools and the resources to create your own abundance. And I see you guys being very abundant. Um, for some of you, you're going to be extremely fertile in the third week, which is depending on where you are in the world and what you celebrate it could actually be right around Christmas time. So if you do not want a baby at this time, I would strongly suggest using contraceptive. Um, so yeah, so the, you have like everything to create your own abundance, they're telling me as well. Um, and there's going to be a gift coming in and for some of you, it's going to be a ring and, uh, for some of you, it's, it's someone from the past or like someone you've known in a long time. It's going to make you very happy for some of you. You may just like receive this gift from this month. Um, it, it's like something like super sentimental. And, um, for some of you it could come from someone from the past, but I see it being like, like you guys are, you like it, you like whatever this, this gift is that someone has to offer you. And that for a lot of you, I see that coming in the third week. So, Moving on to the fourth week now, I see that you guys are going to be moving into a better cycle, okay? Um, for some of you, your REM cycle is going to be better. You're going to be sleeping better. Um, for a lot of you, this is, the wheel is just turning for us now in general, right? Like the universe and it's paying out for a lot of people, depending on where you are on that karmic scale. But I would say majority of us are on, are on the up, right? You're, you're the sphinx on top of the, um, wheel of fortune here. So you can expect, um, perhaps some good fortune, especially if, if someone is proposing to you, you know, that putting your wealth together and stuff, um, and you're just going to be moving into a new cycle, they're saying. So, like, like you'd be starting a whole new chapter of your life. And they're saying that, like, it's going to be, like, a lot smoother, okay? Like, you're you're definitely going to be moving out of those, those rough waters. Um, for a lot of you, I do see some more love communication coming in in the last week of December. Um, for some of you, it could be kind of sharp and straight and to the point and, like, do you want to be with me? Do you not want to be with me type of thing? Um, you, <laughs> you do have the lovers here in the last week of December. Um, in this deck, it's really beautiful. It talks about them more as being a partnership already and less of it being a choice. But I mean, if someone's proposing to you, then you will have this, this choice. Um, for some of you, I think that like this, this, if, if, um, you know, if you are going to be, um, proposing or getting proposed to, it's going to happen at different points of the month, because like for some people, I see it happening at the first week. For some people, I see it happening for you. The second, I see a bunch of people around Christmas time getting proposed to love must be in the air. It's like a bunch of these Zodiacs, like everyone's like getting married. <laughs> um, so yeah, then some of you, I see it happening for you in the last week. Um, for some of you, you know, you're just going to have to make a choice in love. It's going to be, I feel, between um, an earth sign and it's going to be between a water sign. So um, the earth is going to be Taurus, uh, Virgo, Capricorn, and obviously your waters are going to be the Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, so yeah, so that you, and like I said, like, uh, one of these people is gonna they're not telling me which one it could possibly be the water sign is gonna want you to make a choice at the end of the december between between um the two people okay did i miss anything 
Um, be honest. Be honest about your feelings and, and what you want. Um, something that was hidden for you guys is that um, I think someone's been watching you guys. Someone's been keeping an eye on you. And that's going to be illuminated to you. Um, they've seen you rise from the ashes, they're telling me, like a phoenix. I feel like as much as you might hate this boss, they actually, I think they want to give you a raise. So, you know, bite your tongue. Because I think the raise actually comes the second week of December. And it's because they've, they've seen, um, it's like they've seen, they've seen like, like, They've seen that there's been conflict and you've been able to rise above it and still come out like on top, right? Like still do a good job. So for some of you, I mean like this, this could be like relationship wise that someone has been watching you and, um, but for a lot of you, I feel like this is more work. Like someone's been watching you and um, they've, they've seen you really rise above, which is great, Pisces. Like great for you. Like the Phoenix. Yeah. Be the Phoenix. Rise above. Be the magician. Be the empress. That's that's what they want for you, the universe. OK, so let's move into your love life. So for some of you, they're saying um, your partnership is worth working on, so do give it a chance. Um, I am strongly picking up also, too, just like in your work. Like, if, if that person really annoys you, like, give it a chance because um, they, they do want to offer you some sort of abundance. Um, for others, they're saying that uh, pay attention to the red flags because, you know, the universe is trying to caution you. So, like I said, they were telling me that, like, for you guys not to, like, block your own um, blessings and abundance, not to get too fixated on, on things. Um, but, if yeah, always go with your gut feeling, guys. Like, if something doesn't feel right because you are being guided by the divine. Um, so if something doesn't jive or doesn't fit right or sit right with you, like, listen to that. Um, don't, don't ignore it. Uh, they want you to trust and have faith in your love life because the divine is working on it and everything needs to happen. Um, like, there's a lot. It's very strategic. Like, there is so, it's so intricate and there's so much involved. Um, when we come to inhabit on planet earth. So they want you to know that, you know, great love is worth waiting for you and take the steps that they are guiding you to take. Engagement. Somebody's going to be taking their relationship to a higher level of commitment. So you do have the engagement card here. Um, yes, this person is your soulmate. And for people that um, are not in a relationship, they are telling me that your soulmate is coming in, okay? They're coming in and they're going to stir these romantic feelings within you and that they are worth exploring and let your heart sing with passion and joy because this love is from the divine, it's from the angels, okay? It's from the stars, it's from above. Okay, guys. Well, I hope that that helps. I'm sending you guys lots of love and light for the month of December. I will close out with an affirmation for you. So they're saying to you guys, letting go creates space for me to receive. Okay, so letting go creates space for me to receive. Love you guys. Bye.